Hey guys, I'm Oliver Covey, and today I'm going to be talking about electric cars and why you should buy them in 2020 and any other year. Okay, so I haven't had a ton of experience with electric cars. Now my brother does own a Tesla and I have driven it and honestly it's the best car I've ever driven and it's just, it feels like a sports car but it's quiet, it's incredible, it's super nice to drive, self-driving, electric so no gas, no, I mean ever worrying about having to fill up your tank and saving a lot of money. So today I'm gonna to be naming off several reasons why you should buy a Tesla or an electric car in 2020 and especially in the upcoming years. Now, Tesla is the biggest electric car right now. Um, they are selling hundreds of thousands of cars every year. They just became the richest car company in the US. So that's just incredible. They are just an, an incredible car. I mean, if you ride in them, if you have ever ridden in a Tesla, you probably like it. Now, some people don't like that, of course, just because they like that, that gas sound. They like using gas, um, but honestly, the first reason for me getting, I mean, right here at Tesla Cybertruck, you know, I have a pre-order in, um, is to save the money. So when you switch to an electric car, my brother kind of did some of the math here. He switched from a 4Runner, which got 18 miles to the gallon, so lower uh, miles to the gallon than most cars, and he switched to a Tesla. He's saving almost $2,000 a year. So over a 10 year period, say you kept that car for 10 years, you're saving $20,000 just on gas. Just let that sink in. Five years, that's $10,000 just on gas. And then, you know, a lot of people are that range anxiety. You know, you only have 200 miles. You only have 100 miles in these low cars. Tesla, the top is 380, somewhere around there, kind of gives or take for which model you get. But 380 miles, on one charge. That is pretty much a normal car in gas. So if you stop and kind of compare and you realize that a gas car, you have to stop and get gas, the same as going to a supercharger with your Tesla. And superchargers actually charge super, super fast. That's why they're a supercharger. You can get, in the upgraded ones, you can get a full charge from, I think it's 10% to 95% in 35 minutes and that gives or take depending on which car you have and which supercharger you go to 35 minutes now just picture stopping just a couple extra times and getting only a half a charge now you're only sitting there for 15 minutes then you drive another 200 miles and you sit for another maybe 20 minutes and then maybe another 20 minutes You've driven almost a thousand miles now, just under a thousand miles, and you've only stopped for about 45 minutes, depending on where you stopped and how big of a charge you needed to get. That's really short. Now stop and think that you have to fill up your car three times. Think about how long it takes those three times to fill up your gas, go to the bathroom, get some food. You're almost the same. A Little bit longer on longer trips, you're gonna have to stop a little more on the electric car. But if you just combine those with eating, going to the bathroom, on longer trips, you're not spending really any more time and you're saving a ton of money and you get a super nice ride. So that is just one thing that a lot of people I think don't really realize is a supercharger, when you have a Tesla, you can get some really, really, really fast charging. Plus, here's a thought. If you own a car and you know you have to fill up with gas, you're filling up with gas, you know, whatever it is, twice a week, normal driving, maybe an hour a day, um, maybe once a week. I don't know, it depends on how much you're driving. Now just picture every time you get home, put your car in the garage, you fill it up with a tank of gas. You would never have to go to a gas station again. Never. I mean, unless you're going on a long trip, your normal work days, you would never go to a gas station again because you're coming home and you're filling it up with gas. Now just switch that to an electric car. Every time you get home, you plug that in and when you wake up, you have a full charge. Every single day. 
you never have to go to a gas station again. You never have to go to a supercharger unless you're going on a long trip, really cold, you know, maybe you're only driving 300 miles, you're gonna have to charge somewhere. Okay, I mean, think about how much money you're already saving and time never having to go to a gas station again. That's just a really big thought to me is a lot of people think of, you know, range anxiety. You don't have to spend hours charging. You don't when you own a Tesla. Normal other electric cars, sure you do, but you know, even then you're still saving a lot of money. With other brand of cars and you don't take long trips, you don't have to worry about that range anxiety. You know, because you do charge it every time you get home. Now if you're taking a lot of long trips, then maybe think about getting a Tesla, but even then, you still might have to stop more if you're driving, say, two hours a day, every single day. Maybe an electric car doesn't work for you. And so that would be a problem. But just kind of picture that every time you get home, you're filling your car up with gas. Because most people right now have gas. So just picture that. And if you get an electric car, that's what you're doing. Plus, you're saving tons of money. I mean, tons of money. So you're saving a lot of money and that's just, I mean, a lot of people I think aren't really picturing that with the electric car is they're thinking, you know, I'm going to run out. I need to charge. It takes hours to charge. What's the point? The cold. But just picture that for a minute and stop and think how much driving you do, how much money you would save, how much luxury you get and how much just overall time you even save. Never going to a gas station, never worrying about spilling gas and opening up your gas tank and filling it. You never have to worry about that. It's just crazy. Plus it saves the environment. I mean, gas is terrible with billions of cars driving. It's just such a convenient thing. And I believe electric cars from what I've seen are taking off. Every company is trying to come out with cars right now. Ford, Audi, Mercedes, BMW, every company you can think of is coming out with an electric car. I think in the next 10 years, we're probably gonna have so many electric cars, everything's gonna be getting just better from what we have right now. Longer range, better batteries, you know, faster cars, we already have fast cars, but for you sports guys, you know, better truck, cyber truck, right there. I mean, it's the future, and I think you should jump on now, because they're just gonna get better. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you liked this video. Hopefully I taught you something. I don't own an electric car. I will soon, hopefully. But I think they're the future, and even if you don't want to buy one, invest in some stock. And I'll see you guys back in another video. Make sure you guys consider subscribing and also give this video a like.